First Alert Forecast with meteorologist Hannah Messier. One of the most active volcanoes in the Galapagos Island chain is erupting, spewing lava into the air and lighting up the night sky. This is the La Cumbra volcano, and it's the third largest on the island. Despite its impressive size and impact, this eruption posed no risk to humans. It's currently being monitored by the environmental agency. Now, clouds have moved into parts of eastern Iowa, but in the Amana Colony City Cam, we have a beautiful morning. It was lovely this morning, lots of sunshine. Then we start to see a couple of clouds here and there, but in the Amana Colony should have a beautiful view of the eclipse. Temperatures are in the 50s, 58 degrees in the Amana Colonies, 58 in Iowa City and 57 in Cedar Rapids with winds coming out of the west and southwest around 15 to 25 miles per hour. Wind is highlighted on your first alert because we could see some gusts above 20 miles per hour this afternoon. Not as windy as it was yesterday, but still something that you'll probably notice throughout the day. Now clouds have developed along and north of Highway 20 over the last couple of hours. They are mainly up by Decor and Fayette. That's where the clouds are the thickest right now. The farther south you go, the less clouds you're seeing and the better your view of the eclipse. That being said, over the next couple of hours, the clouds in, in the north are expected to decrease that being said, your best chance if you really want to see that eclipse is to drive a little bit farther south. Now for this afternoon, we're looking at a partly cloudy to mostly sunny sky. And overnight tonight, we're also going to see a partly cloudy sky. Tuesday morning, waking up to a mostly sunny sky and will be mostly sunny for much of Tuesday. Let's talk more about the eclipse. That partial eclipse begins around 1246 this afternoon. The maximum eclipse is at 202 in the afternoon when 86 6.3% of the sun will be eclipsed by the moon. The partial eclipse will come to an end at 316 this afternoon. Now in our zone cast for today, we're going to see temperatures rise into the 60s, 64 degrees in Guttenberg, 61 in Harpers Ferry. In our northwest zone, same story, 60, 65 today in Waterloo. In our central zone, a little bit warmer, 68 in Cedar Rapids, 66 degrees in Center Point. Lastly, in our south zone, we could reach the low 70s in some spots, 70 in Iowa City, 71 in Kelowna, above normal for the beginning of April. Overnight, temperatures cooling into 30s and 40s, pretty mild, 37 in Fayette and 41 in Iowa City. Much of this week is going to be really mild, but actually at the end of the week into next weekend, we have warm air that's expected to move into the Midwest, and that's really going to cause temperatures to climb. In our next few days, 60s, 68 today, 60 on 66 degrees, excuse me, on Tuesday, the 70s already by Wednesday. Then we're going to be in the 60s Thursday into Friday. Then next weekend, it looks really nice. Mostly sunny and in the 70s with overnight temperatures in the 40s and 50s. Our only real chance for some light precipitation looks to be on Thursday. We're keeping an eye on that. Yeah, couldn't ask for a better week for the kernels to have their opening day. I know, right? Warm temperatures, sunshine. The kernels really are starting the season off pretty well. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. Thanks, Hannah. And